welcome to November 27th, 6th work day of the week, 2009. This happens to be a preparation day for the Lord's Sabbath, the day that he proclaimed his Sabbath, the one he sanctified and made holy. So this is the preparation day for that Sabbath. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. Knowledge and Wisdom Comes from Above, Day 331 of the year 2009. Let's open up our Bibles so you can read along with me, brethren. I suggest you write down on the chapter and verse on the pad and paper so that you can study the whole context at your own leisure. Sometimes being that we run read short verses, you might could get a little confused, but write the chapter and verse down, study the whole context, and it'll come out to you clear. That way you'll be able to see and hear and put into your brain everything that the Lord wants you to know about the subject. Brethren, you can use the pause button down here in the corner so that you can start and stop this study while you're looking up the chapter and verse. Because I do go through faster than most of us can find the chapter and verse in our own Bibles. Well, with that, let's get right on with it. We'll open up at Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, Consent thou not. Don't go along with them, is all he says. If they want you to do something you know is wrong, don't consent with them. Don't do it. Now let's go to Genesis chapter 3 and verse 6. She took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. She consented with the devil. Joshua chapter 22 and verse 20 did not Achan the son of Zerah commit a trespass in the accursed thing and wrath fell on the congregation of Israel and that man perished not alone with his iniquity first of all you got to know what trespass is they knew better that trespass is knowing the law and then purposely breaking it. And then when you go into iniquity, that means lawlessness or against the law. They knew the law, but they went against it anyway. Now let's go to Exodus chapter 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Just because everybody says it's all right. We're all doing it. We all go to church on Sunday. That is evil in the Lord. Not my word, but your Bible said. Pay attention to it. Now let's go to Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13. Wide is the gate and broad is the way that is leading to destruction and many there be which go in thereat. See, if I tell you, broad is the way that leads to destruction by leaving out the Lord's Sabbath and picking on Satan's Sabbath. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Now, Romans chapter 14 and verse 7. None of us is leaving, living to himself. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 13. Brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. 1 Corinthians chapter 8 and verses 9 and 12. Take heed, lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. When you sin so against the brethren and wound their weak conscience, 
you sin against Christ. Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 6.